There's an odd problem on the old 81 Silverado. The brake light is staying on. So sometimes what I can do is turn the ignition off. And it goes off. So I'm suspecting something's going on with my ignition switch. It used to, I could do that and it would stay off. Now it's, it comes back on. So I am going to probably change the ignition switch because I believe it to be the original. I also got the switch for the proportioning valve because I can. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that off. That's the first thing I did is make sure that centering button was mashed in on the proportioning valve because that also triggers this light to come on. But I think this, I'm going to double check the wiring diagram, but I believe that circuit goes through the ignition switch. But it's off right now, but probably next time I drive it, it'll come back on. All right, it's time to dig in and do some research on why this brake light on the dash keeps staying on. I often get questions about other people and their similar trucks. And this is how I go about figuring something out on mine. I have a service manual. And I have a parts list with parts diagrams. So I'm going to open the service manual up to the circuit layouts. Got a bookmark in there. And right here on this page, it's got a list of every circuit, what color the wire is, and what the circuit does. Just goes on and on and on and on. And on and on many circuits. So, this service manual covers everything from the base model to the most fully optioned model at the time. So, the circuit I am looking for is the uh, brake warning light. That's where the fault is. And you look right here. Circuit 33 is a tan and white wire. Warning light brake. Okay. Next we go over to the schematic diagram. And I have highlighted it for ease of access when I'm doing this video. And here, here it is. This is on the proportioning valve or combination valve, whatever you want to call it. That's down underneath the radiator on the frame. So there's where circuit 33 starts, or ends I should say, depending on how you look at it. But I guess we got some connectors here. And I follow it. And here it comes into the bulkhead. This is firewall side 33, right there. Tan and white. This is the dash side. 33 splits off into 33A and 33B. 33A goes to the emergency brake pedal. So I believe we're interested in 33B. It goes up here. This is the bulkhead for the gauge cluster. There's 33. And 
And here's a breakdown of the gauge cluster without tack, which is what I have. There's 33. It goes over to the brake warning light. And here we continue on with the schematic. 33B, tan and white. Goes up here. Continues along. 33B, continues along. Goes up. 33B. We gotta be getting close to the ignition switch. And here we are to the ignition switch, which is the other end of the circuit. The way this is acting, I think it's grounding out here, so there's a fault in the ignition switch in that part of the circuit because I can play with, you know, turn the key back to the accessory and go through a couple of cycles and sometimes, or used to clear it after one or two tries. Now, most of the time it doesn't work, so something's going on in there. So then, it's time to figure out what kind of ignition switch does this truck have. So that's when we go over to the parts list. And here's my parts catalog list, 79 through 83 year model. This one was updated in January of 83. So, I'll find the index here. Here's the page I've been looking for. We can look at the alphabetical index, but section 2.000 is what we're looking for. Here's a quick side note, it's got all the GM production options. So that's pretty handy to have. If you don't have the build sheet in the glove box, like mine got removed when it got stolen. So I can potentially recreate that with this list. But here's the page we're after, the alphabetical index. It's got every part listed. So let's go to S. Look at here. It's a whole list of switches. We are looking for ignition switch. I don't have that ignition warning and anti theft. Just the good old ignition switch. 2.188. So we flip this over. For the two group. 2.188 and we look eighty one through eighty three with tilt. It's part number one nine nine zero one one zero. So now, just have to get on the internet and cross-reference this part to whatever is available now. And I happen to be using Rock Auto. So I'll put that part number in. This is the ones that came up. And the applications. Let's look at the info. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. And there's that. And that's the alternate part numbers. I would like to find OEM. 
so I'll hunt that down a little bit more. Look and see what this one says. Okay, I got some more part numbers. So something, I believe I'm going to start with the D1405A. Okay, here we go. So I've put in my information. Yes, the truck came with the 5.0305 V8. So that's what I go with. It makes things a lot easier. And look at there, it fits. So I've got that ordered up. I didn't order this particular one. I found one for a little cheaper than that. I think I got one for 19 bucks or something like that so it's not too bad for OEM and when that comes in I will go in and install it <laughs> 